Hey, do you want something different from our usual? Some people are more eager to try new things than others. In the world of YouTube content, you need to be able to change just enough to keep people interested. We talk about car shows a lot, for example, but recently pivoted to YouTubers to give you something fresh and exciting. At the same time, it's familiar enough to not scare off the people who came for Rawlings and other old favorites. What are you doing here? It's kind of the reason why I'm here, man. I, I can smell Thomas Weeks on here. Is that Tom? It's probably Tom. What's the secret sauce? TJ Hunt seems to have things all figured out. His brand of automotive content is on fire. No, not, not literally. He manages to keep gaining eyeballs without remaining a car channel. Funny, you'd think a guy like him would be married by now. Wonder why he hasn't popped the question yet? Welcome back to Tuna No Crust, YouTube's biggest channel devoted to car restoration shows. And here's what you didn't know about TJ Hunt. Stick around for the usual open question at the end, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Can you hold my helmet? I mean, they're gonna make fun of me in the comment section below. You guys are asking for track days every video. Oh, the 350 is not ready yet. No, absolutely not. But we're at a track. We might as well rip it around. So, where did TJ Hunt come from? TJ's real name is Thomas Hunt. He was born in Montreal, Canada on December 28th, 1994. Aside from these basic details, not too much is known about Hunt's early life. He is very private, social media side, and has not been around long enough for there to be books written about him. Guess what? When that fails, and it, you no longer pursue that, and you pursue the next thing, you now learned all the things that didn't work the first time. And that is so much more valuable. What we do know is that he always had an interest in cars. And I started to get new hobbies and started to do new events and meet new people and then I got Miley. He started working on cars in his co-worker Calvin's garage. Then he learned to drift. Then he fixed a Ferrari. And it's like parking sensor failure, electrical failure. It's right. in neutral. Whoa, whoa, I'm not doing that. I didn't do that. Whoa, I pressed the brake. And, and after that, the rest was history. He even moved from Montreal, Canada to Poway, California, near San Diego, to get closer to the cars he loved. But it's not like Canada is deprived of cool cars. Check out Rust Valley Restorers for more. TJ Hunt has been on YouTube since 2009. Many of his videos are just of him drifting and cruising. But he also did things like assembling paintball guns and reviewing cars. Since then, he has done more drifting videos and restoration projects. He did indeed change just enough. The secret to his success was consistency. Even though he was uploading mostly random things, enough people were interested in those things that he had a sustainable channel. His channel was refined, tweaked, and became more streamlined over time. But the smartest thing he did was put the three-ish dollars he got per video into developing his brand. We mentioned this in a previous video, but most big YouTubers don't make the bulk of their money from ad revenue. It helps, but most of their net worth comes from merchandise. His shop, Hunt & Company, has motivational t-shirts with no fear and keep moving forward printed on them. If you really love his Nissan Skyline, it has a shirt too. And again, even buying something small like a keychain or sticker goes a long way to supporting your favorite YouTuber. He also sells car accessories like air fresheners and license plate frames in his store. And if you see a car you really like on his channel, he might be willing to part with it. Keep watching for the next time he sells something. More subtly, but not secretly, Hunt also sells car parts. Kind of. The exact arrangement isn't clear, but Hunt works with Throttle to make even more money from car parts. Hey, that fair and square. Cheap shot win. <laughs> that right there uh, was the first cheap shot win. It's weird. He's not listed on the site at all. They make regular cameos on Hunt's channel, so... What exactly is the deal? Let us know in the comments if you have any details beyond partial ownership. Hunt also occasionally donates some of his money to charity. One of his favorites is Driven to Cure, a Maryland-based charity that hosts car festivals and races to raise awareness of kidney cancer. Please go through the appropriate channels if you would like to collaborate with TJ Hunt. He probably gets millions of messages per day. The whole shebang leaves Hunt with a net worth of somewhere around $5 million after all the math is done. The question is, can he keep it up? The answer is, probably. 
TJ Hunt seems to be good at playing the long game. Many of his refurbishing projects, such as the Ferrari 458 that he got a while back, would be easy to make a profit on. That's part of what makes refurbishing shows so fun. You get to see a pile of junk turn into something someone might buy. If his investing prowess got him a house with a pool, he's doing something right. Even with all that money, Hunt knows that he has to keep doing cool things to keep his followers' attention. Yes, he refurbishes and restores cars, but he also does some motorcycle things, sprinkles restorations up with videos about wheels, and surprises people he cares about with motorcycles and cars. Do you want to see his house? We'll show you around his house. He modestly describes his channel as, this is my life. And he knows how to risk his life in all the right ways. One of his most ambitious challenges was getting a midnight purple R34 Nissan Skyline. This car was made famous by the Fast and Furious movies. It is so Fast and Furious that cop cars cannot possibly keep up with it, leading to a nationwide import ban. If Hunt had gotten it through illegitimate means, the car would have been illegal to drive in the United States. Hunt subscribers got a sneak peek inside a very secretive, hush-hush process after all was said and done. Midnight Purple 2, that is federally legal to be in the United States. And if a cop pulled me over, I wouldn't be in any trouble or any federal trouble, which only two ways to get one here. That's by getting a Motor X car or having one that's here on federal exemption through something called show and display. He knows how to take the right kind of risks for his business. Even his failures are made public. Also, did we mention that Hunt loves drifting? He has videos of his other favorite hobby on his channel too. Check him out to see him improve over a decade. However, be warned that some of his videos pull a bait and switch. For example, his 2016 video, Meet My Girlfriend, does show his girlfriend, but it's not just about her. There's some solid insurance advice in there too. But we clicked the title, and a bunch of other people probably did too. More modern videos cut right to the chase. Hunt is also humble compared to certain other car show hosts. He is very willing to admit he has made a mistake, unlike, say, Rawlings. Every lawsuit, every time he gets caught by the cops, even that one time he got scammed are all up on his YouTube channel. He doesn't know what he's doing all the time. Arguably, he's a better businessman than a mechanic, but it's clear that he loves what he does. He might be young, but he's incredibly mature. Hunt seems incredibly nice and fun to be around. It's rare to see him alone in a video. He's usually with Calvin, Sabrina, and Kevin, among others. Calvin and the rest of the crew seem to enjoy what they do. Hunt often offers opportunities to friends and family via his platform. In one video, he even swapped the engine of his best friend's car. The videos feel more like a group of friends doing fun things with cars than someone like Rawlings telling everyone how to make a car just right. Here's more evidence of Hunt's good nature. He knows and loves to talk to his fans. I really knew who I was, but then like I ran into all of these guys. Yeah. Hunt schedules meetups pretty regularly. He also loves doing collaborations, so follow his social media to see where he'll be next. He might even collab with your favorite car tuber. On that note, Hunt knows that he must be careful. He has seen other car tubers crash and burn thanks to dumb decisions in their personal lives. One of those YouTubers, Adam LZ, got married a little too early. He divorced his then-wife Nicole and lost much of his net worth in the settlements. That's probably why Hunt hasn't married his girlfriend, Sabrina Lehman. It's just not in his business plan. And with Sabrina being COO of Hunt & Company, she probably understands that too. By the way, both Sabrina and TJ are big on social media. They both have Instagram accounts with massive followings. You may even see Sabrina in some of Hunt's videos. She also sometimes films TJ, so if you hear a lady's voice behind the camera, that's probably her. I know you so well. <laughs> put him down, put him down, put him down. See him run around. He's a baby. YouTubers like Hunt are masters at getting our attention. But what about you? What's the craziest thing you've ever done for attention? Yes, date nights count. Let us know in the comments below. Sometimes, the best way to get over a mistake is to share it with the world. And if you know any auto tubers, car tubers, that we haven't covered yet, let us know in the comments below. Since nothing's as constant as change, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell so that you don't miss the next thing out of our garage. We'll see you next time.